Hello people on Facebook. Thank you so much for looking at our little video. We are going to talk about Southern Tier Animal Rescue, who kindly came in to answer phones today for <laughs> WSKG, and it is a cause near and dear to my heart. Thank you, Enya Nicole Kakari. Yes, Kikari. I said it right. You did. I've read it so many times and haven't <laughs> said it out loud. But thank you so much for being with us, Enya. Thanks thank for bringing you. some friends and family no, in to answer phones. It was fun. Southern Tier Animal Rescue. The name is pretty obvious, but mm -hmm. who is it? Who's the group that's doing this? It's all local volunteers, actually. Uh, we open our homes. And and we foster animals and get them adopted out to qualified families that are looking for a new pet friend for their home. So fostering, this is someone who just yes. have an animal for a little while? Well, yeah, I mean, basically fostering means that you're, you're bringing in an animal and you are opening, uh, opening your home to uh, socializing that animal and getting them ready for their home, their forever home. It's a short term, but I mean, it can go longer, but normally it's a short term event. So this is separate and distinct from the larger organizations that might have a lot of animals in yeah. one place. Yeah, and, and nothing against those larger organizations that have animals all together. They, they provide an awesome service. What we do, though, is we try to socialize them uh, to other animals, um, other family members. Uh, they get used to being in in a home setting, uh, so hopefully the adjustment period when they go to their forever home is a lot shorter. So the animals that come to you, what are their backstories? Well, we've had a lot of different animals. Uh, at one point, we actually were rescuing animals during a flood. Uh, we had some, they were almost feral. Uh, oh I gosh. Yeah, it's, it's harder when they're feral, but we do reacclimate them or acclimate them to being a family pet. Um, right now in my own home, in fact, I have a stray that we caught uh, that was feral when we got him um, and he is just now starting to get used to the population and and being fed um, without any issues we also have uh, two kittens um, that are getting used to dogs uh, so it's a lot of fun we always have people over handling them and getting them used to being touched and being around being around people making them good pets so that really is what makes a, a better pet is is to they just sort of get used to the whole idea yeah. of being with people yeah especially like for cats cats are very independent any cat owner will tell you that they are their own special creature <laughs> <laughs> and uh so when, the more you handle them the more you pay attention to them and their vocabulary because they are always trying to talk to you um the better the better acclimated they get to your home. So how do you find all of these lovely people who are willing to do the fostering? Well, a lot of them come to us through events. Uh, we were doing a Bonton fundraiser, uh, and we were finding new foster homes, uh, vetting them through their applications. Um, they'll find us on Facebook. Uh, sometimes they are families that are starting to look for a new pet, but they're not sure that they're really ready to commit yet. So they might try out fostering as like a test drive. Um, most of the time though, they, they come to us uh, with a desire to help and they're just not sure where to pitch in. We don't just do fostering, uh, we also do fundraising, uh, we do community events. Uh, we're starting to take in donations uh, to take to some of the shelters, like blankets and things like that that they need. So before we get too far, mm -hmm. someone's watching our little video mm -hmm. and says, I need to get in touch with these people. Yes. How do we do that? Uh, Facebook, uh, Southern Tier Animal Rescue Network. We are also on the web, Southern Tier Animal Rescue Network .org. Um, You can find us. Facebook is probably the easiest. If you message us, uh, one of our awesome volunteers will get, excuse me, get back to you, and uh, and um, we'll go from there. We also have a phone number that we'll list. Very uh, good. And that goes directly to us. Very good. Now, can people contact you if they're interested in? getting a pet for Oh dogs. yeah, please. We right now have cats. We have quite a few awesome, very, very awesome cats. They're not the feral ones. These are kittens uh, that were taken in. They're fully vetted, up to date on shots, spayed, neutered, and actually we just discounted our uh, adoption fee to $65. So for that, you get their vet records, um, very awesome kittens, and they're, like I said, ready for new homes. So that adoption fee is mm -hmm. covering things like the spaying and the neutering yeah. and the other costs that go with taking care of Yeah, and this is why animals. it's really important to adopt uh, rather than shop for the animals. You're going to get a, an animal um, for $65, um, whereas if you go out and just purchase um, a kitten right now, uh, a spaying or neutering fee can run you hundreds of dollars, plus the, the, the vetting and all the shots and things like that. So you're getting a great price and you're getting an animal that's already ready to go to a new home. 
How cool. I so, know. <laughs> so, um, you, you are taking donations. We so do. Are, you're tax deductible? We are. We are a 501c3. Uh, we do uh, send out notices and receipts for everyone when they want to make that tax deductible. So I imagine donation. someone could donate through your website. Please do. Yes. Awesome. Yes, we are set up for that. Awesome. And you do events. Do you have something coming up that you want people to know about? Yes. Our next uh, adoption event will be at Creature Comforts on January 25th. Uh, Creature Comforts is on Upper Front Street. We love doing things locally. We also have worked with PetSmart in the past, and uh, we're working on getting set up with other agencies. So you'll so see more of us in the community. Our Facebook network is is bigger than Binghamton, so we're talking about Upper Front Street in Binghamton. In for Binghamton, Creature yes. Comforts. Thank you. And, and when is that event? Uh, January 25th. It's a Sunday uh, in 2015. It's our first event of 2015, and we're very much looking forward and to it. And you described it as an adoption event. Yes. So you will have yes. critters that are looking for homes, yes. critters yes. that have been fostered, mm -hmm. that have been socialized, yep. in most cases with other animals as well as people. Oh, yeah, yeah. And some of them come from families with children. Um, so you're, you're getting an animal that really does know how to interact with other creatures. And the nice thing is... People who know animals well will have been with these animals and can say, well, this one has this kind of personality, yeah. would be really good with kids. Mm -hmm. This one, maybe not so much with another dog, but maybe another cat would be great with this yeah. one because they're all different, aren't they? They are all different. In fact, the one of the kittens that I, I have right now, um, we didn't think she was going to be really good with other animals or dogs. And she is the one who curls up with our older dog all the time. They so surprise you. They do. They really do. And to be fair, we also, it's not just cats. We um, work with dogs. We've also fostered ferrets in the past. Um, we fostered snakes in the past. We really are an all animal inclusive networks. So the more foster homes we have that are able to take in these animals, the more good we can do. So another call that I imagine you guys are willing to accept is someone who's in a position where they just yeah. can't take care of an animal mm -hmm. anymore. Yeah, it's a really judgment-free zone. We know things happen. Um, situations do change. The flood was a big thing. Um, when that happens, definitely give us a call. And again, more foster homes that we have, the more good we can do and we can place those animals. We don't like to turn anybody away. So the more homes we have, the more we can get some so, help out there. So volunteers interested in fostering, mm -hmm. of course you'll be vetted because mm -hmm. we want to make sure you're someone who oh, can yeah. be trusted with the animals. Oh, yeah. People who are interested in adopting, people who might have a pet who needs a new home, yeah. people who would like to help but Maybe their help is limited to contributions. Always happy to hear that. All yep. of those people can contact us. And in case you fast forwarded over the information, <laughs> once again with the website. Uh, animal, Southern Tier Animal Rescue Network dot org. And Southern Tier Animal Rescue Network on, on Facebook. Facebook, which is where you're probably seeing this video. Yes. So we'll have a little So go link. ahead and like us. Yeah. We'll have a link. You can like. You yeah. can <laughs> ask for notifications. Yep. You can keep in the loop. Yep. Please and do. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank Great you. to see you. Yeah. Help out this organization. They're really cool. Thanks.